night. Mike, today it was last Thursday on Thunder from Peoria that we got the announcement that Lex Luger had been named head of recruiting for the NWO Wolfpack and his first charge, his first target, was Diamond Dallas. Well, on Thunder, we witnessed Lex Luger and Diamond Dallas Page defeating the Giant and Brian Adams. We thought that Luger and Page were not only victorious in that match, but were the new WCW World Tag Team title holders. That not the case. As we mentioned earlier, that's going to be settled at the Great American Bash. But my question now is, Diamond Dallas Page, as far as we know, is firmly aligned with World Championship Wrestling. Remember on Nitro when he came out of the limo right. with J.J. Dillon, Booker T, as well as Goldberg? Now the question is, in my mind, now that Luger has had the opportunity to sit down and talk with Diamond Dallas Page, now that they've been a tag team, a very cohesive unit, is there the chance that DDP is going to turn his back on World Championship Wrestling and become the newest member of the Wolfpack? Would we have ever thought we would see Sting in red and black face paint as we did Thursday on Thunder and wearing the red and black T-shirt of the Wolfpack? I never thought I would see that. So we can't say for sure that Diamond Dallas Page is firmly with WCW. I thought Sting was firmly with WCW. He's gone. He's in the NWO Wolfpack. I got to think, and don't forget this, Mike, tonight, the history between Kevin Nash and Diamond Dallas Page extends well beyond what we know right now. This goes back many, many, many years in former incarnations of both men. They go back a long time. They have been very, very good friends. We may see a reuniting between Kevin Nash and Diamond Dallas Page in Team Wolfpack. Now, of course, Lex Luger mentioned that he was going to take those recruiting duties very seriously. And I owe you back in the locker room area, Scott, at the WCW events. There is so much speculation. It's running wild. It's running rampant about who is going to be the next individual or individuals that are going to make the jump over to the NWO, be it either NWO Hollywood, the black and white, or the Wolfpack. I got to think that there will be more surprises. The NWO versus NWO versus WCW war is not nearly over. And there are going to be more shufflings, more jumpings, more surprises. It's going to end up with who? We never thought the Giant would go with Hollywood Hogan on Team Hollywood of the New World Order. He's firmly entrenched with Hollywood Hogan. I've, I've, I don't even assume anything anymore. Nothing surprises me unless nothing happens, then I'm surprised. You talk about that battle of three organizations, that war between the WCW, NWO Black and White, and the NWO Wolfpack. Well, the next battle in that war is going to be waged at the Great American Bash when Hollywood Hogan and Bret Hart, a team that sure looks to me to be united against a team that on paper, and at least in the ring in their interviews, looks to be divided, oh, and that's Rowdy Roddy Piper and the Macho Man Randy Savage. It's even to the point that Piper and Savage will be on the pay-per-view as a tag team, and when that match is over, they go into another match as opponents. How, how many times have we ever seen that? I've never seen that, Mike, today. We're going to take a look later on on Saturday night at how that entire situation developed and the team of Piper and Savage crumbled before it actually even began. It's going to be difficult for them as they go in with that mindset into the match, I think, to put their differences aside. Frankie Lancaster explodes with left. Oh, roadblock. Jess squashed him with that splash move. Out of nowhere, Roadblock just dropped on poor Frankie Lancaster, and the thumper has been thumped by the Roadblock. One thing we can say, Roadblock has amazing agility oh! for a man nearing the 400-pound mark. Front slam with impact and authority, and the 400 pounds behind it. Roadblock going out to the ring apron. We've seen him do this backflip before. The backflip into oh! the ring. Oh, man. Count to 100, Charles. It's over. Look out below. Easy three-count victory for Roadblock. The Roadblock wins it over Frankie Lancaster. Stay with us much more, including Sting, on Saturday night.